Well, good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Thursday, October 21st, the 29th Thursday of Ordinary Time, and it is the feast day of St. John Twangy, also known as St. John Bridlington, because he is from England. Uh, he is an English saint of the 14th century, and in his lifetime he enjoyed a reputation for great holiness and for miraculous powers. Um, and he was in, he was the last English saint uh, canonized before the English Reformation. He is the patron saint of women in difficult labor and for fishermen. Today's gospel is from Luke chapter 12, verses 49 through 53. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I have come to set the earth on fire, and I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided. Three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son and a son against his father. A mother against her daughter and a daughter against her mother. A mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Well, that doesn't seem very nice. But here it is in Luke's gospel. Luke, the evangelist, the apostle of Paul, in which Jesus is a cause of division. Now, of course, we know that Jesus wants us all unified. However, he's also a realist, and he understands our human nature, and he understands our human weakness. And he knows everything. So he knows that not everybody is going to accept this unity that Christ calls us to. So, being the realist that he is, he talks about himself being a cause of division. And he's alluding to the fact of how great of a, of a reason for this division to take, to take place. You know, there's so many um, people that are so afraid to break away from trailing family tradition especially if it's relevant to the faith, <clears throat> or they feel like they have to be, you know, Methodist. They have to be evangelical of some sort. They have to be Seventh-day Adventist. They have to be Catholic. They have to be a Methodist. They have to be Lutheran. Whatever it is, we think that we have to be a certain faith simply because that was how we were raised. Whether it's rooted in truth or not, of course it's rooted in truth because it's rooted in, in Jesus Christ. But God established one church and only one of them can be the right answer. And there's so many people that I talk to that are only a certain faith because of their upbringing and the fact that they're afraid that if they break from their whatever faith it is, these are those who have primarily towards Catholicism, they don't break because they think they're going to disappoint their families or their mom or their dad. And um, I think that's what Jesus is inviting us to do. Because um, I know once I went to college, I joined FOCUS, the Fellowship of Catholic University Students. Because if I was going to be Catholic, I wanted to figure out, you know, I wanted to be Catholic just because, not just because my parents were. I wanted to be Catholic because I was convicted of it, I studied it, and everything made sense. And as I studied studied scripture and studied different philosophies, everything kept going back to the Catholic Church and I just couldn't shake it. And so so I just got I just lucked out that I was able to that I was born Catholic. But then like I said, I didn't see it authentically practiced like what I had wanted. I'm like, if this is Catholicism, I don't know if I want to be Catholic. 
So I needed to figure it out for what, for what it objectively is and not what I thought it subjectively was. And I think that's what our invitation is, you know, because Jesus came. Um, it says, Jesus' proclamation of the kingdom is refining and purifying fire. His message that meets with acceptance or rejection will be a source of conflict and dissension even within families. And that's what that cause of division is. And then he also, um, what we know is never, he says, there is a baptism with which I must be baptized and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. He's talking about his death um, that he is anticipating so much. So um, the challenge today is, is do you know what you are and who you are and also whose you are whenever it comes to your faith? And are you 100% convicted that this is the faith that I need to be in and start practicing? Because Christ did establish a church. He tells us that in Scripture. I just read that yesterday. But then it's a matter of the amount of churches that we have in the world. How do we know that the one that we are participating in, whether we are or not, whatever one we claim to be, how do we know that it is the truth and are we convicted in it? So there we go. Happy reflection. God bless and keep it real. In the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit, amen.